Thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, as I explained yesterday, I'm going to start making some videos to share different information. Uh, a lot of it is what people have been um, requesting many different things, lots of different information. Uh, but today, what I'm going to be sharing is um, some material that uh, Seth Bowie Master has written and channeled from the Sasquatch Elders. Um, Seth is a, a holistic healer that lives in Hollywood Hills, Florida, and uh, he's been in communication with the Sasquatch and many other interdimensional beings, um, and they've been guiding him to uh, create this, these credos and affir affirmations and meditations and things uh, that we can use to help us in our ascension and to co-create the kind of reality that, that we really want to see. So um, he's been putting out a lot of information, but he's not on Facebook um, or really much of anywhere online, which I'm trying to convince him of otherwise. So, um, uh, but anyway, it's wonderful material. A lot of it is covered in the, um, let me see if I have it with me, the Sasquatch Message to Humanity, uh, book three, uh, some of the later chapters I can just show you here because I have it. Yeah, so chapter uh, 25, 26, and 27 is from Seth. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's 24, 25, 26. Anyway, oh, actually, I was wrong about that too. Sorry, it starts at 23 is uh, Seth's material. Um, and this is in the Sasquatch Message to Humanity, book three. Um, but what I'm going to be covering today is not the information that's in the book. It's in alignment with all of that, but there's just been so much coming through. So um, I expect that this might be kind of a, a long video, uh, maybe at least a half hour, because there's a lot to share here. Um, but they are, it's really beautiful information, and I encourage everybody to participate in this as much as possible. Uh, it's like group affirmations. Um, and if you don't have time to do it right now, the, this video will be archived, so you can come back and revisit it uh, at any time. And hi, everybody. Wow, I got, I got a good little crowd here. Excellent. Well, thank you all for joining. And um, okay, so I'm going to start here. Oh, this is Tony, by the way. And this is wonderful art by Deborah. Oh, I don't want to say it wrong. Deborah. Uh, Chapin, oh, I got to look that up. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, she's one of the wonderful ladies uh, that helps run the uh, Fairy Congress in, in the uh, Tennessee area. So she does this wonderful spirit work, and, and I love to decorate my little office area with that. So, um, uh, so anyway, what I'm going to share here uh, from Seth, uh, he says... So this, the, I'm going to start off with kind of an overview of everything, of all the material uh, that he has shared. A lot of this is also on Facebook. Um, I have written several different little notes that have his information in there, but there's just so much coming through uh, that it's really a lot easier to kind of discuss it. And I've been having a lot of requests and messages and things from people um, asking to reiterate this or direct them to where this can be shared. So I thought making videos would be a really great way to get that information out there. A lot of people are a lot more, um, you know, into audible learning than, than they are reading. So, um, so Seth says, uh, this is the overview of all of the co-creative projects of transformation with the co-creation of the Sasquatch people star elders and humans and i'm sorry my chair is shrinking on me just a second okay by the way you like this t-shirt sorry about my messy desk but i just had I just had those made and and we'll have them at the conference this year so um <clears throat> okay um, so Seth said that ever since i started working with the elders of various groups and the collective of them I became aware, uh, aware of an action plan that was unfolding and shared it along the way. 
As the plan unfolded, I have now become aware of the bigger picture and I'm going to present the information here. As you will see, each stage has built upon the previous and leads to an event that is going to change all life everywhere. The loving, unobstructed Ascension Life Timeline co-creation. So those of you that are here have heard this call and you're here to answer it. Um, and so uh, some of the, the topics or things discussed here then uh, or the agenda is personal sovereignty realignment, planetary daily life reconstruction, and planetary ascension co-creation. So the, the first phase of this, and those of you who have been following uh, may be familiar with some of this, or it, it may be all new, so I just wanted to share kind of, you know, how it started from the beginning. Hi, guys. Is there really activity behind me? Really? Well, I got all my lovely little friends here with me. So I was going to have this outside, and it's raining. Actually, right now the sun is out, so I probably could have, but I think it's going to start raining again. So um, so the first part of this was called Project Authentic Perfection. Uh, you've heard of authentic perfection most likely through some of my posts. Uh, and this was initiated back on December 13th, 2017, to acclimate people in their consciousness to the presence of perfection energies. This helps to stabilize and open the door to, to uh, more of these perfect energies while assisting and supporting and cleaning up our environment on many levels. The second phase of it was Camus' end of year message of forgiveness. And uh, this was the end of year message in 2017. So it came just a couple weeks after the first. And this initiative was to rid ourselves of unforgiveness by making the sincere effort to completely be done with all unforgiveness. Unforgiveness in any form ties up energy, drains the person of personal power, and keeps the being's karma going round and round, getting them nowhere. Uh, the third phase of this was the Sasquatch Message to Humanity, Book 3. And, uh, you know, like I said before, that it was um, a, a collaboration of, of different information, but there, there's going to be a lot more shared here. Uh, but in the third book, the information that Seth has is a, a hyper-focus and responsibility uh, to put back upon ourselves on many levels to help unleash our sovereignty. This redirection and increased focus of self-awareness and self-responsibility furthers the transformation of life at the heart of it all, which is all of us. The remembering of our roles as conscious co-creators of every area of life is the overall message brought to you through many different channels to affect change to a wide, wide range of consciousnesses. Is that a word? Consciousnesses. Okay. The, elder help, the elders helped us to recognize on, a, on deeper levels that our thoughts and beliefs hold keys to manifesting life. They helped by bringing to our attention and guiding us through many processes to liberate our energies that were stuck in limiting our ability to exercise our sovereignty. It's akin to begin, oh, to, to being in a car spinning the wheels stuck in a rut and they come along and give the car a nudge and help us move forward again. With this offering in place and a sincere drive to work through the exercises, we're able to help ourselves to the point where we can really start to make a difference in life by liberating our personal power. Remember what they shared about personal power and transformation. And that is you will only be able to change yourself in direct proportion to the level of personal power you hold. That's a pretty powerful statement in itself. I'm, I'm gonna repeat that. You will only be able to change yourself in direct proportion to the level of personal power you hold. And you do hold a lot of personal power even if you don't think so. That's what they're here to help us remember. Um, 
Okay, so the, the fourth phase um, of this co-creation project was, was called Project Re-Evolution uh, Stage 1. I'm not sure if stage one is necessary, but apparently that means maybe there will be more stages. But uh, initially just project re-evolution, and that started uh, a year ago. Exactly, actually. Um, no, May 22nd, 2018. So it's been just a year, uh, and we reached critical mass on this project um, on July 2nd, 2018. and um, and what this project is doing, Project Re-Evolution, is assisting in transforming a scheme of de-evolution to re-evolution that has been hampering many levels of existence. As the critical mass was reached, a balancing of the, intelligent, uh, the intelligence complexes allows for the release and utilization of more information. This release of information on many levels permeates our beings and helps give us an opportunity to enlighten ourselves. Okay, and, um, and so also in addition, I'm gonna skip some of this because a lot of it, it's gonna be redundant with, with what I'm about to share, um, but there's also, um, I should let you know, many people are, are not aware of this, many are, um, that Seth also created a deck of, of cards called the Reality Shifting Consciousness Technology Experience. And it's more than what's just in this deck of cards. He actually infused these consciousness technologies into different materials, uh, such as like some prisms, um, these little Jasper pendants that many of you received if you came to the conference, um, especially at the uh, British Columbia conference that we had last October. I, I covered a lot of this material too. And um, so what these cards and what this technology does, um, it's uh, it was in the works along with, with book three. Um, uh, let's see, this is just kind of redundant. Okay, so the DEX final prod product it's designed to be an extension of the Planetary Stewardship Initiative and Project Authentic Perfection. And this consciousness technology has been greatly expanded upon with, uh, with 34 additional states of perfection to empower yourself and disseminate to life. Let me find my, oh, my deck of cards is up here. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> So this is them. I'm, I won't go through all of them, but I just want to show you what they are. So we do still have some of these available, um, more that are going to be made, but uh, see perfect victory, perfect loyalty, perfect peace, perfect self-discipline, perfect transformation. And this is really like a living deck of cards. And so um, whatever it is that you're wishing to learn or to heal or guidance or insight into whatever it is, these cards are really helpful. So, um, and they, they are just a tool to assist. They're not something necessary. And that's, you know, certainly not something the Sasquatch are saying, you know, um, requesting that you buy something from us, but they're wonderful tools to, to really help in our ascension. Uh, so let's see. All right. So the rest of this, um, Actually, I'll read the conclusion here, and then I'll get on to the uh, the more co-creation part of it that I'm going to share. And so the conclusion is, it's plain to see that the Sasquatch are, well, are working to help us shatter the programming of awaiting a savior to pull us out of a predicament, uh, to live in the denial that anything unhealthy has happened or is happening, and playing the victim. Uh, these are all just thought forms and ideals and things that we choose to subscribe to because that's the reality, uh, that the only reality that we're really aware of, this duality, this polarity. Um, and the Sasquatch elders really want to teach us that really that is all an, illu an illusion. Um, you know, so you create, you co-create your own consciousness and your own reality. Uh, they're encouraging us uh, to toe the line of galactic protocols 
by being responsible for our destiny as conscious co-creators. This is far from walking around being mindlessly programmed to fulfill the selfish agendas of others. The protocols of honoring free will ensure we do it ourselves. What better way to experience our ability within than being given the opportunities to be sovereign in the infinite? Where, when we are in need of some assistance to help us help ourselves, it's provided by our benevolent el elders to those who, and who are in a state to receive. Um, and just to divert here a little bit, that's a question I get a lot, uh, actually, is that people uh, really want to strengthen their communication or their relationship with the Sasquatch people, and uh, they can't feel their presence or they don't feel they're receiving the telepathy that they really want to, to, to receive. Uh, and a big part of that is because you're not allowing yourself to receive. You want it, but you want it so much that you're blocking it because you're focusing your attention on the want so much. And when I say you, I'm not directing that this is a universal you. So, um, and the thought form of the savior complex re produces apathy and allows other agendas to go forward unencumbered. This is by design. Now that you know, you can affirm, I cancel the savior programming within and I choose to free my sovereignty from it now and forever. That one sincere choice helps free up your energies to exercise your sovereignty and co-create the future consciously. I'm going to just reread that statement, that, that affirmation, and you can say it with me. I cancel the savior programming within, and I choose to free my sovereignty from it now and forever. Uh, okay, I lost my place. Okay, uh, with all of the previous stages explained and aligned with it leads to the moment of group action, which is what we're, we'll be doing here, that's very essential at this time. Instead of an unpredictable future which shows a powerless race, let us all prepare ourselves with the tools available and all the wonderful workshops at this event, which he was uh, referring to the Sasquatch, uh, Psychic Sasquatch Spiritual Retreat last year, uh, but that's gonna go for, for this year as well. It's gonna be even bigger and better than the previous year. So um, as far as workshops and material and so many wonderful, beautiful souls joining us this year uh, in addition to the others. Um, so with this, uh, we intend to co-create the future of a loving, unobstructed ascension life. So thank you. So that was just a, a little briefing on some of the technologies that uh, came to be before this. Uh, and that's not including a lot of the, the planetary stewardship and uh, the one, the, all these different consciousness consciousness technologies that he has shared so far and uh actually i'm gonna this material that i'm just about to share right now i'm also going to put a link here right now uh to the note where this is shared and so you could you know read along if you'd like or go back and revisit it so it's all typed out for you in addition to to just listening to me share this um, so this material here is called Elders Speak, co-creation with various elders uh, and Seth Bowie Master who channeled this information. And um, the message behind all of this is that now is the time, or the time is now, for loving, unobstructed ascension life. Uh, and Seth says that this part of the Planetary Life Recalibration Initiative has been running in the background since late August 2018 when I became aware of a timeline war going on. Instead of fighting, we can choose to leave all of that fighting behind by manifesting a timeline reality with all uh, without all that and get on with our lives of self-development and constructive co-creation. 
Yes, my friends, we humans are that powerful and so much more. So the importance of this co-creation that, that we can all do together is that the future is up to us and what we choose to experience. We are all co-creating the future with our multi-dimensional actions in the now. This is a very real ability the human lineage possesses and uses every moment, yet mostly unconscious of this fact. And I see my chair is shrinking again. Sorry, guys. No, you keep like losing sight of me here. <clears throat> Basically, we've been switched off on many levels. And as these switches turn on, so do our abilities to consciously co-create. As we empower, there are opportunities to consciously co-create together a life that is much higher than the present one. For far too long, we've been kept stuck in this rut and the elders are encouraging us to get up and co-create now more than ever without being distracted by the destructive constructs that keep our minds focused on limitation. Taking our energies from destructive life and aligning them with constructive life um, um, is the key to it all. As we do this, the whole energy field shifts towards the constructive life until we reach criti critical mass. And you know what happens then? Constructive life starts to self-perpetuate. When that happens, the destructive life gets starved out and comes to an end. What follows is a fast track to cut the ties and starve out the energies that keep the scales of life tipped towards destructive life. It's really that simple of a perspective. With us as boots on the ground, our job is to remain focused and true to constructive life. Sounds easy, but that's all we have to do is just keep that focus. A question the elders have inspired to ask of ourselves is, what do I need to clear and heal to have love flowing strongly in my heart again? This is a very important question to ask the moment your love starts to dim. You know what happens already when love isn't present. A timeline without being exploited and, and obstructed in any way is imperative if we're to get on with our lives and allow others to get on with theirs. If you are unconsciously co-creating, feeling disempowered, distracted, and unaware, then others that are self-serving will make the choices for you. No choice is still a choice, but we have free will, so we all have that choice. It's important to remember that. We don't have to uh, abide by the choices that, that others make for us. So uh, here, the elders speak about becoming conscious of energy and how it flows through you to co-create reality. The intruders or manipulators or cabal or elite or whichever term you choose to use for them, um, the, uh, we'll just say the dark forces of the planet, don't want you to know that you're being used to co-create their agendas. They do this by the programming and movies, books, TV shows, songs, and the unheard and unseen manipulations in our day-to-day -day surroundings. The constant watching, hearing, and feeling destructive behavior makes your beings resonate with that and perpetuate it through your emanations. Even if you refrain from acting it out, uh, the energies you felt still broadcast out to the universe field of energy, the universal field of energy. As your emanations go out, they return with more of the same. This cycle generates a consistent, unhealthy energy that swirls around your planet, creating an energetic form of terraforming, terra being T-E-R-R-A, like the Earth. What we are offering is an, an awareness uh, and an action plan to disempower the destructive cycle and assist in anchoring the already wondrous, highly organizing energies that your planet is being immersed in. This limits upon life, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the limits upon life cease when you clear, heal, and disalign from destruction. So just to, to summarize that, 
um, you know, basically we are what we think um, and we create with our thoughts. And so this is encouraging us to uh, not only change our thoughts, because that's so much easier said than done is, oh, don't be negative, don't be angry, don't be sad. Well, that's, that's not really the case. It's not that we shouldn't be those things. We're human. We should be those things. We should feel them. We should experience them. Uh, we should feel them so deeply uh, and analyze them so deeply that we're willing to allow those things to go. They were an experience. Uh, they taught us a, le a lesson on our life path. And now we're able to, to release these things. Um, and so a lot of the material here is going to help us do that. Um, also through these, these group affirmations. And uh, the more people that participate in this and do it all together, um, I've done this three times now in, in front of, it, with three different groups, um, saying these different affirmations and intentions and things like that. And it is so much more powerful, hundreds times more powerful than if you're just to do it by yourself. And there's nothing wrong with doing it by yourself. Um, but you know, just getting together, even on this video, even if you're going to, to catch it later, the energy is out there. It's being put out right now. I'm having messages from a few, few people saying, oh, I can see the energy behind you even. So, you know, maybe you can. I, I feel uh, other forces with us here encouraging this as well. Um, it's certainly the Sasquatch who have really been encouraging me to create videos and I just had to really get out of my own way and, and start doing it. So um, now that you understand uh, the predicament of living in an exploit, exploitative reality, the time is now to co-create the loving unobstructed Ascension life timeline reality. Coming together with this common focus in mind helps to organize your wonderful vision and energies into a centralized point instead of being scattered. The time is now for it all to come together for greater effectiveness. What you're choosing to manifest here is going to be a part of your legacy of true service to others that you came here to fulfill. So don't take this lightly. Um, if you don't feel like you're in a space right now to really uh, apply this, you know, with your, your whole being and your whole consciousness and your whole heart, then come back to it later and do it. Um, but you're certainly welcome to, to join us in practice. And, you know, the, the more that you do as well, um, the more you're going to really feel that effect internally in your life. You're going to, to see it in every aspect of your life. Um, and all, Seth also shares um, how this presented itself, um, all, of, all of this material. He said, this, this backdrop of co-creation from our many, inter, uh, our many dimensional aspects has come about because we have for so long suffered under the covert and obvious manipulations and have, have had enough. As we dreamed of a better life, we on many levels co-created the dream reality of loving unobstructed ascension life. As I felt the cries of the masses one day, I asked, what is most needed? And the co-created dream seed of loving unobstructed ascension life was born into this world as a living reality as I em embraced its entry. After anchoring and nurturing it, my job now is to share this reality and make this opportunity a conscious one for you to choose, strengthen, and share. The fulfillment of the full manifestation of this dream into reality is a direct representation of what we can really do when we consciously co-create together and fulfill our roles in existence. The elders, and this is Seth speaking again, this, the elders have shown me parts of the universes uh, are infected with unenlightened intruders. They're causing tremendous suffering for themselves and others. Our, our role as humans is to clear the infection by driving it out of areas and setting up the consciousness and energies to create an environment that the infection will never ever return to. In other words, we are guardians. Once we feel this truth emerge within, 
we can see how far we have been distracted from our true vocation. Yes, guardianship emerges in our day-to-day -day life, and when we heal and grow into our full role, it will truly be a sight to behold. This is being presented to shatter the false dream about ourselves and life that we have been stuck in for quite some time. Reading this is already changing everything. Thank you. Did I lose you guys? My computer says it's trying to reconnect. Well, I'm not getting any answers. So I guess maybe I should just continue. It says due to poor wireless connection, which is a normal thing here because all we can get is satellite, your video has been paused. So hi Debbie, can you can you hear me and see me? Okay, I am. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I will continue. <clears throat> <clears throat> so this is our role now. Since the loving, unobstructed Ascension Life timeline uh, slash reality, timeline and reality is an interchangeable word here, uh, is established, it's time to add the unique additions of the masses to further build and realize this alternate natural way of living. The four words, loving, unobstructed, Ascension, life, when felt individually and collectively, add to and anchor that reality, which changes the reality around us. Take a moment to feel them now. I'll say it again. Loving, unobstructed, ascension life. This is a living, loving presence that is already here. When you focus on the energies of the words, you align yourself with it. When you get distracted from that alignment, you co-resonate and anchor another reality. The choice is yours. What are you going to be anchoring for future generations? What is your legacy aligning with? These are some questions our elders ask us all the time. They see us as creator beings and are helping us to see that more and more for ourselves by making us aware of who we really are. Can you still hear and see me or at least hear me? Okay, all right, great, thank you. Please just message if, if you ever can't. Um, so uh, this part is titled, Seeing the Drama to End the Drama. And Seth said, as I was shown the overview of life on this planet at this time in relation to the planetary dramas, there's a main theme underlying it all. One is there are those who work to exploit and dominate others. Two is that there are those not knowing they are pawns to the exploiter's agendas. And three are those who are not interested in playing the agendas out for them any longer and are co-creating an alternate reality to live in without the intruder exploiters. And so I think most people joining us right now uh, would fit into the number three category. Congratulations, and thank you. The later, uh, the latter are those that have broken free on levels and chosen to turn their energy towards more constructive living avenues. Uh, Sasquatch Elder says, this is a direct quote, those that have an opportunity to see our demonstration of dematerialization and rematerialization are seeing a level of being in the world and not of it if we choose. You can reach this level and more if you think more highly of yourselves and your abilities. Sorry about the phone ringing. Uh, the intruders or exploiters need something to exploit in order to feel powerful. These are Seth's words again. Uh, why do they do this? Because they've denied their unhealed powerlessness. In order to cope with this, they need to take advantage of life forms in order to fill the whole powerlessness 
that has let uh, that has been left within them. The self-destructive coping skill of dominating to cover up their low self-esteem has caused tremendous destruction. It's plain to see love is not present with them and that self-destruction is inevitable for the lost state you get when you give. Even under such circumstances, the elders see the silver lining of love and know how to make the best of a situation. So here, uh, the, the Sasquatch elders also talk about using the mirror to discover denial and heal. And the mirror can be the toughest lesson of all, self-reflection. When life presents itself and you feel triggered, then you have an opportunity to choose to heal what's within that, that it triggers, or you can choose to be a victim. Using the destructive one's play outs to help you help yourself discover something within that you're not entirely aware of is a much needed constructive action for those stuck in victim consciousness and needing a way out. The choice to heal empowers yourself to change. This helps to change reality as you will end the one that needs, as you will end the need to pull in more reminders that emulate what's denied within. You've heard it before, like attracts like. Once you've healed completely, you graduate into realities of higher levels of perfection where intruders and exploitation of any kind does not exist. You may choose to see the realities going through exploitation and choose to enter into that reality to assist that group out of the predicament. Most of you that read this or are listening to this uh, and get it are here to assist. And it's best to keep yourselves from being entangled in the lies and stick to the truth to remain free. Sorry, I have to lift my chair again. Next time I'll use a different chair. The elders speak about re-empowering choice. One gift that our Sasquatch elders would like to share uh, is information about you having a choice and the power of choice. We're here to make sure that awareness is set into alignment with the truth. Many of you have taken your ability to choose for granted and have lost the conscious understanding that the choices you make manifest reality. It's really powerful and profound to know that all your choices are coming together to make your experience that you call life. Many walk through, uh, yes, many walk through life feeling like a victim because they're not entirely aware of what is uh, of what is in the deep recesses of their internal dialogue about life and themselves. Many ride on the surface of their consciousness and wonder why this and that is happening to me. Once they pay more attention to the deeper dialogue, they start to figure out that they had beliefs and judgments about themselves and life that pulled into their experience activities that supported the beliefs and judgments. So for example, um, you know, just coming up with something, maybe somebody all your life or somebody you know, maybe they were told that they were stupid or dumb or not smart enough or something throughout their life and even though they were perfectly smart and they're perfectly aware and intelligent uh you begin to maybe believe all those judgments that people make on you and you start to believe within your own self that you're not smart and you start to tell yourself i'm not start smart or oh that was stupid or why did you do the stupid thing and those are stemming from these judgments that were placed on you long before you can even really remember them uh, so they affect you, and um, so this is just a part of making this choice to change your consciousness. To help and see and, uh, and change this, this reality, we have shared many healing techniques and understandings in the Sasquatch Message to Humanity, Book 3, to help you on your way to healing your inner conflicts and disempowerment that sabotage your choices. Once you've taken responsibility for your healing, then the choices you make will be fulfilled without conflict. Life is a journey to a higher order 
or in another word, perfection. Many qualities are needed to successfully attain higher levels of living, such as perfect self-love, perfect self-disciplineship, perfect planning, and many others that have inspired to be created in the deck of cards that I mentioned to you earlier. Um, the, they're titled the reality technology experience. Um, and they can help align you or co-resonate to activate with perfected consciousnesses to assist you on your journey of remembering who you are and what you're made of. These are living consciousnesses that have been chosen to align with the cards and the people that are choosing to bring themselves into the highest alignment and live as effective consciousness co-creators. And so for anybody just joining, I'll just brief, brief you once again on these cards. It's a, a deck of cards. Uh, oh, I think I lost my connection. Can you guys hear me? See me still? Okay. On my end, it's lost, but I think you all can still hear me because I'm seeing people join. And hi and welcome and thanks for joining. So uh, if you can see, these are reality shifting consciousness technology experience cards. Uh, and so there's many different cards uh, included in this deck that just help us to, you know, stay aligned with where we need to be and lots of instructions in that too perfect defense perfect intuition perfect power perfect detachment perfect alignment perfect groundedness perfect clarity so uh, many of these and and i should reiterate too when we talk about perfection you know nothing really is perfect uh but that is the perfect part of it it's a it's a perfect imperfection all of us are perfectly imperfect and so it's um learning to to work with those perfection energies instead of feeling that you're lacking something or that you're not enough or, or those kinds of thoughts and feelings okay <clears throat> i have to find where i left off okay choice is everything in existence once you're aware, it's the conscious choice that makes the universe go round. And um, just to put, put that into to my own words, I often tell people that, uh, well, change, <laughs> awareness is the first step to change. Once you have this awareness, it, it, it opens up all of these opportunities and avenues for you. Once you have awareness, then you have choice. So you have free will anyway to make choices as you wish, but without an awareness of what you could be choosing, um, you know, uh, we're often living realities that are just pre-programmed and what is expected of us. Um, but just having that awareness that we are sovereign, that we are powerful, we have free will, we have free choice. Um, and so that is enough to just start the catalyst and the ball rolling in the right direction. Once life goes round and you see the effect, you can make another choice to either construct improvement, producing higher and endless levels of per perfection, or you can choose to destroy it. Most have forgotten that they are in command and the manipulators fill your minds with only their choices for you to choose from. This limits what you command to food choices, entertainment to watch, etc. That's one level of living. We're helping by bringing a remembrance of your role in life as conscious co-creators. And this is um, channeled from the Sasquatch directly, what I'm, what I'm reading here. You all have unique creations to bring into manifestations, yet most find themselves in a position where choices are made for them, and they're visit, very busy trying to comply with all the rules and little time is spent asking one question. And that question is, what is it that my true nature needs to co-create for the benefit of all in existence now? Part of the answer is that the manifestation of a living, unobstructed ascension life. Um, oh, the, the manifestation of 
living and uh, living a loving, unobstructed ascension life. Uh, the fulfilling of this fundamental impulse of attaining higher levels of perfection is so important to your welfare that to be stuck in the rat race is causing you to be unhealthy and yearning for so much more than what the man-made world offers. The unique steps you choose to support life is what is being awakened inside of you right now as this message stirs ancient contracts within you to be fulfilled. Just sit with that for a moment. <laughs> uh, because I'm going to actually repeat that because um, a lot of people don't even quite recognize that they are here fulfilling contracts. So uh, the unique steps that you choose to support life is what is being awakened inside of you right now as this message stirs ancient contracts within you to be fulfilled. Here the, the Sasquatch elders speak about the power of co-resonance. When you focus your attention on something, you start to align with it and emanate its qualities. Those emanations go out to existence, and existence brings you more of the same. Aligning with a loving, unobstructed ascension life brings you more of that, and as you anchor it more and more each day, it takes hold and transforms your life and all who come into contact with you. This is the greatest gift that you can give. This is the greatest gift you can give life that is seeking a way out of the destructive life. I'm just going to repeat that because I read it kind of awkward. <laughs> this is the greatest gift you life that is seeking a way out of the destructive life. So gifting your life, life. Your beings are more powerful than any technology that needs a battery. You have the ability to control the universe with your choices. The choice is yours, always has been, always will be. Your choices will determine each step of your life. What they build into will be your legacy. Uh, they also, the Sasquatch also speak about the keys of co-creation. And they say that in order to effectively co-create a timeline reality, the command or intention must come from an intelligent power source. The quality of the power source greatly affects the outcome. Multidimensional beings, which all of you are, when properly tuned, provide an effective means to coalesce the infinite universal energies into constructs which we experience as realities. Once tuned and empowered, the feeling, knowing, Visualization and commanding of the end result provides a blueprint to transform the morphogenic fields. So the time is now to choose to empower a loving, unobstructed ascension life. The Sasquatch elders say, do your best to experience the waves of energy when you choose to manifest with the commandments that follow. Breathe through the entire process, using your breath and unique take on life to allow the energies of your signature to co-create with your fellow humans and elders. For those of you that are sensitive enough, you'll be experiencing the, effect, the effects of each step proving to yourself that what you're doing is working. In other words, the intelligences of life have heard you and they're working to bring your dreams into reality. This is a conscious, loving co-creation. So I hope you are all ready for this. Um, and I would love for everybody to participate and join in this. Uh, like I said, it's, it's more effective. It's more amplified the more people that join in this. Um, and you don't have to be concerned about the way that you're doing it or pronouncing a word correctly. Uh, just go with the flow of your consciousness and it will guide you uh, through this, this whole affirmation process here. Uh, and I'd like to show you this as well because I, I believe this is 
just a, a powerful image to go along with it. Um, so this is the activation phrase um, that we will say, and I'll, I'll prompt you. Uh, as you realize your sovereignty, the elders say, the time is now to see what you can really do. Remember what the elders said about transformation? You'll only be able to transform in direct proportion to your personal power. That one statement is full of information, encouragement, and playful coaxing to ignite our consciousnesses to get up and see what we can really consciously co-create. This is a short and sweet message and a very powerful activator to deeper layers of our consciousness. It's designed to unleash your highest potentials into action. And this activation came about at the beginning of August 2018. I shared it with a very small group of people at the um, Psychic Sasquatch Spiritual Retreat last year because I was not quite prepared to share this material. Um, so a few heard it then. Uh, more heard it at the British Columbia gathering that we had last October, uh, October in Slocan, D.C. Uh, and again, uh, at our recent trip to Bend, Oregon, a couple weeks ago, I also shared some of this information. So um, I've been able to see firsthand many people participating in this um, and feeling it. And there's not been one word or slight little part of negative energy associated with it. Everybody um, has felt so relieved and fulfilled and, and free once doing this. Um, so just remember as we do this, um, just to put your heart into it, put your love and your heart into it. And uh, you know, your own unique situation is, is going to create your reality. So here we go. The loving, what time is it in the video so I can remember? 52 minutes. Have I been talking that long? Wow, guys. Thank, thank you for being here and listening. The Loving Unobstructed Ascension Life Co-Creation Power-Up Procedure. Okay, so affirm these with me. These are statements that are coming uh, directly through Seth, uh, or from the Sasquatch elders through Seth Bowie Master, who, who wrote this. One, affirm, I choose to align with my eternal, authentic self 100% now and through the entire process of co-creating the reality of loving, unobstructed ascension life. Two says to interface with the image above. Hope you can see it. The let's see what you can really do empower it phrase. Okay, so this is what it means. And the energies associated with it to release dormant energies within your being. Now affirm this. I choose to align with all the energies of the enlivened activator message now. I think I will go ahead and repeat these again. It may be a little redundant, but just for those following along so that you can hear it the first time and then kind of follow along. I know my brain works better that way. So I'll affirm that once again. I choose to align with all the energies of the enlivened activator message now. <clears throat> to allow the deepest shift affirm, I am perfect surrender. Let the enlivened message support your shift into a state of sovereignty. This state can be called pure, powerful, active presence. So I'll repeat that again. I am perfect surrender. When you've aligned with these energies behind each word, individually and collectively, you will feel yourself as a pure, powerful, and active presence ready to co-create. 
Now allow God's source, first eternal or creator or great spirit, whichever word that you, you choose to identify. Um, so ask, uh, ask source or, or creator to help you to remember how to consciously co-create a reality effortless, effort, eff, mm -hmm, effortlessly, I got that out, and with ease. Do you accept this remembrance now? Yes. Greatness then. Now take a moment to feel the shift within and around you as you're enlightened. The time is now to co-create a reality that has never been co-created before on this level. A magnificent reality that many others will come, come from all over experience to learn, heal, and grow from. So much love, so much joy, and so much beauty. The time is now to show, to show all of existence just what the human family can really do. So from this state of being, let us all make some commandments for the complete, incorruptible manifestation of a loving, unobstructive life. And when I say commandments, some people uh, choose to use the word command and some may choose the word intend. Um, they're both powerful words. Intend is making a statement that you see this already happening. Uh, and command is also a powerful word, and a lot of people might think of a negative connotation with that, but that's not what it is at all. That's, um, it's a word to show you how powerful you are, how sovereign you are. And so to command yourself and to command your consciousness um, to begin to, to think in this kind of way or to see these kinds of per perceptions um, is actually really kind of a more powerful statement and word than is e either so whichever you're more comfortable with go ahead and say command or or intend or affirm that's a good one too so this is releasing the grip and disalignment phase the first part is to release the grip of another fall timeline that is going to hijack the ascension timeline this is doing our part to assist in the honoring of free will those that choose fall will fall. Those that choose to ascend will ascend. This is love in action. Making for a clean break assists in perfection to manifest. And yes, you are the ones manifesting that level of perfection. This one part helps to make the transition less dramatic. It started raining again. Um, after each comma, allow time to feel the shift wave. So this is kind of more for my reference. But um, what we'll do is after I, I make each statement, I will pause. Um, and um, that will, let's see, to allow to feel the, the shift wave flow out to existence, gathering with the foundation that's already been set. Every time that it's repeated with passion, it builds the charge further. Each one of these is a download into your being and all of life. Feel the wonder of life without the qualities to help you feel the contrast with daily life now. You'll know consciously when you're aligning with it or without it as you go through your day. It's more of a consciousness war than anything else. What will you give your consciousness to? So let's begin. I am pure, powerful, active presence. And please, like I said, uh, repeat it to yourself or say it out loud. Revisit this as much as you like to, or also in the comments, I, I sent a link to where this is all written out too in a Facebook note. So it is commanded once and for all. Please repeat. It is commanded once and for all. A loving life without exploitation of any kind. A loving life without corruption of any kind. A loving life 
without secrets of any kind. A loving life without obstruction of any kind. A loving life without selfish service to self of any kind. A loving life without dishonesty of any kind. A loving life without the victim victimizer program of any kind. A loving life without denial of any kind. A loving life without disrespect of any kind. A loving life without ignorance of any kind. A loving life without low self-esteem of any kind. A loving life without entitlement of any kind. A loving life without conflict of any kind. A loving life without greed of any kind. A loving life without fear of any kind. A loving life without self-pity of any kind. A loving life without inequality of any kind. A loving life without power struggles of any kind. A loving life without apathy of any kind. A loving life without hatred of any kind. Now feel all the shifts as the remembrances and your vision of life without all of this comes into the moment. So now we will tip the scales towards constructive life. That's eliminating the destructive life. So now affirm, it is commanded, or I intend, or I affirm, whichever your choice is, it is commanded as the mighty and beloved, eternal, eternal, authentic presence that I am. The reality of loving, unobstructed, ascension life, now and forever, everywhere. Now and forever, everywhere. Where is a completely sovereign life? where a completely sovereign life is lived by all. Where unity and diversity and perfect love are natural expressions. We are co-creating the highest levels of eternal life expression are natural and joyful. Where perfect defense is natural to ensure an eternally peaceful, joy-filled, ascension life. Where life co-creates with joyful perfection, bringing about the best for all. Now I'll just pause for a moment to allow yourself to feel the waves of this loving unobstructed ascension life to form in a living sphere here. So these, these words and these statements uh, and uh, commandments to yourself, to your own soul, is much more powerful than you realize. Now command, this is to plant your conscious creation. So now, now command that the creator that I am enliven this co-creation with perfect grace, perfect health, perfect defense, perfect invincibility, and perfect incorruptible effectiveness. Initiate and fulfill perfect placement of this co-creation now.
Now feel this co-creative intelligence field being perfectly placed for maximum effectiveness for all life everywhere in existence. Once you feel the energy settle from this placement, we will command the next. And that is, I'll give you a moment to, to feel that integration there. Now it is commanded that perfect transformation takes place now and forever to help integrate this new addition to life. I'll repeat that. It is commanded that perfect transformation takes place now and forever to help integrate this new addition to life. Notice the initiation and the manifestation of the reality of loving, unobstructed ascension life, enhancing from your action. Amplification. Now make this commandment or this intention. This co-creation is to be amplified every second of every day for the complete manifestation of this loving, unobstructed ascension life, perfectly bringing about the highest and best in the highest and best way for all. Eternal sealing. Make sure you feel it and affirm we all live a loving, unobstructed, ascension life now and forever. We all live a loving, unobstructed, ascension life now and forever. Stepping into a new reality. Since the loving, unobstructed ascension life reality has already been established and enhanced by your action, the time is now if you choose to shift your entire being to the loving, unobstructed ascension life reality. All you need to do is make a choice. I choose, you can re repeat this, I choose to shift my entire being in the highest and best way to the loving, unobstructed ascension life reality as my primary reality and feel the shifts take place. All that do this and can feel energies feel much relief as they disalign with the destructive timeline realities. They then feel like they're in a world like they are in the world but not of it quite as much. This is normal and proves your energies are shifting and integrating the choices. You may notice as acquaintances change to healthier ones. There may seem to be less stressful situations in your day-to-day -to -day -day life. Remember, you'll feel more and more like you live in a side-by-side -side reality where others and the effects of their choices seem so disruptive, yet you seem so much more outside of their dramas. The next part is the homework. So um, just for, for those of us joining us here, I am sharing uh, information, affirmations, and commandments that we can make to ourselves. These were uh, written by Seth Bowie Master as they were channeled by uh, various Sasquatch elders. And this is to help us to integrate these energies that are coming in now um, and to just change our, our perception and our realities. And we're encouraging everybody to participate in this together, uh, to co-create this reality together, which we all are. We're all doing excellent jobs. Um, and uh, this is just to really help ampl amplify this. And so the, the homework that is given, and it's not that difficult of homework, it's fun stuff, you know. If you, were, if you review the life without section above, what is this, life? Okay, well, 
And like I said, in the comments here, I have all of this information typed out on Facebook so that you can review it. Um, but you, you'll find that once you have read this or once you have listened and participated, that the most important job from this point forward is to heal those parts of yourself that may still be caught up in playing out unhealthy attitudinal behavioral pro patterns. You'll notice this when you're pulled into the side reality. When you're triggered, use the tools in book three to help realign yourself uh, and you'll have stepped out of that and into conscious ascension life again. And just to um, brief you again on the some of the tools that are mentioned here, and uh, it's the Sasquatch Message to Humanity, Book Three, in which uh, Seth Bowie Master shares uh, chapters 23 through 27 or 28. Um, for example, this is one of them: the Authentic Perfer Perfection Enlivenment Circle. There's many different affirmations here. Um, ways for you to just change, help to to change and shift your thinking, so that you un understand that you're these multi-dimensional sovereign beings that have all the power to co-create our reality. And uh, you know, so much we give our power to other people, uh, to other agencies or schools of thought or religions or whatever it may be. Um, and the Sasquatch elders just really want to remind us to um, take that power back. <laughs> we, we're in control and we can create, better yet, co-create with all of you the reality that we really do wish to see. So um, once you sincerely heal, heal these parts of yourself as you go through this checklist, you'll be finding that your personal power grows and you complete the alignment with the loving, unobstructed ascension life and emanate that reality strongly and naturally. You'll be free from being pulled into the dramas others choose and become more and more of a blessing upon this earth. This new stand is helping bring the inevitable future of loving, unobstructed ascension life into the now. When you are emanating these energies, You'll be giving a wonderful gift to all as they pick up on the and pick up on and integrate the energies on many levels, consciously and unconsciously. Give and uh, this is the the closing of it. Pretty much the the closing of it. So um, I'll just kind of summarize it all but this is um, a direct quote from the elders the sasquatch elders as as they channeled this information through seth and they say give gratitude to yourselves and to others for this co-creation it is up to all of you to keep holding this beautiful reality and nurture it with your loving thoughts and attention and healing yourselves Spread the words all over that represent this eternally living consciousness field. We encourage artists to see what you can really do to creating imagery, to create images with the words. Loving, unobstructed, ascension life to act as it stands of manifestation to anchor the wonderful energies you feel as you create the art. Uh, they encourage song to be sung filled with the inevitable future of loving, unobstructed ascension life. This helps to keep yourselves and others focused in emanating the wondrous energies. Welcome to a deeper understanding and action of conscious co-creation. Self-awareness plus empowerment, oh, I'm sorry, self-awareness plus empowered choice equal co-creation. When you do this again in groups, adding your own intentions, simply make the creation, um, I'm sorry, I got lost there. Simply make the, okay, hmm, yeah, I skipped a line, that's why. When you do this again in groups, adding your own intentions, simply make, make the commandments or intentions to be added to the loving, un, un, unobstructed ascension life reality. The co-creation is incorruptible and eternal. 
Rest assured, only the best will be added. Thank you all for your service to others' actions today. Many life forms really appreciate your efforts. Life without end, love without end, I'm sorry, uh, the Sasquatch elders. And uh, this is also, since it's here, I will share this, um, a design that Seth created that just says loving unobstructed ascension life, loving unobstructed ascension life, loving unobstructed ascension life. And it could continue to go, but it would just get smaller. But it's important to remember that's a, a great symbol and um, visual because life is a spiral. All of our lifetimes are a spiral. We're living all of our lifetimes, all of our realities simultaneously. It's just going in an upward spiral. And so this has absolutely nothing to do with this, but I feel inspi inspired to share this too. Um, that, you know, like I said, we're, you're most familiar with this life 